Hey, welcome back for another week. And this week, we are back to an adventure. I do hope you enjoyed the product review last week. There will be more to come. For now though, we're going back to adventures. And we're going to Yellowstone. Yellowstone's probably gonna get broken up to either two or three parts. I don't wanna make them too long. But this week is part one. And while you guys are enjoying that, I have to take down my crazy Halloween that I did since Halloween is over. I, uh, I had fun with webs. I, I really like Halloween. But the family doesn't want to stay up too long, obviously. We don't leave them up here around. Ooh, but check out the scarecrow. Creepy. Had a nice red light on him. We did some pretty good scaring. Scared a lot of kids, even teenagers, and some parents. I say it was successful Halloween. So, you guys enjoy your adventure video, and I'm gonna deal with decorations. Have fun! Made it to Yellowstone, and we're in the park, and we're already stopped on the road for wildlife. Doing their thing. Yellowstone is full of so many bison. Just bison for days. Yellowstone is the land of bison. They were everywhere throughout the park, crossing the roads, hanging out by geysers. Just so many of them. Probably why bison burgers are pretty popular out there. I tried one. Not too bad, actually. Watching them roll around giving themselves dirt baths was also a bonus to watch. It's rather amusing just to see them doing that for some reason. Burl Spring is actually really easy to get to. It's right off the road as you're driving through the park. One of those springs that you don't really have to hike to get to, but fun to look at and check out. It's pretty obvious how this one got its name, considering the water is constantly bubbling like as if a witch's cauldron were going. It was just intriguing just to watch it. All that bubbling is just hot pressure from underneath the surface of the earth, which to me is pretty insane. Dragon's Mouth Spring I think is one of my favorite places in this part of Yellowstone. If you were a kid and you didn't know better, you actually might believe that there's a dragon hidden in a cave which is smoke coming out of his mouth and he's just hiding in there. It's it's cool.
this part of the park is Hayden Valley. I definitely recommend it if you want to have a really nice sunset or even a sunrise. It's just absolutely beautiful out there. Just stunning. You gotta go see it guys. It's beautiful. Not only does Yellowstone have bison, but they have tons of deer and elk and obviously bear and other animals. In the evenings though, you'll get lucky and find some good deer. Well, that's it for this part one of Yellowstone. Catch you guys on part two. Have a good week.